Okay, let's talk about a math strategy wall. So what I mean by a math strategy wall is actually putting up a bulletin board or posters kind of like this that give your students the vocabulary they need in order to complete math problems. So some of these that I have up here are 10 frame, counters, fingers, flip-flop, or sometimes people call that the turnaround fact because that's the vocabulary I use. Um, we talk about doubles in first grade, lower level elementary grades. We always talk about those doubles facts and friends of 10 or combinations of 10. The beginning of first grade, I use concrete tools like this 10 frame and I place it right beside this 10 frame. I've recently changed this around. This is the late, later part in first grade. And so I've taken a lot of these manipulatives down off this wall and kind of pared down. And so this 10 frame, strategy was next to an actual 10 frame and I would actually put in um, the dots that showed what a 10 frame looked like and we would talk about uh, maybe our friends of 10 so if I have two dots in our 10 frame two, two of our 10 frames are filled up then how many more do I need to make a 10 and so they would tell me eight more and then I would say what's the sent um, math sentence for that and they would say two plus eight equals ten turnaround fact eight plus two equals ten so using actual manipulatives along with your math strategies is a great idea the other thing that um, you could do is actually use um, ten frame excuse me um, base ten blocks next to your one that you talk about with base 10 blocks. So you actually put your base 10 blocks next to that just to give them a physical reminder of what does a base 10 block look like. And then of course, having those manipulatives somewhere in your classroom that the students can use on a daily basis when they're finding a strategy to complete math problems. So I encourage you to put up a math strategy wall, look at your math curriculum and pull out all of those good strategies for your whole year. Maybe have this all um, typed up or um, have it in a document ahead of time and then when you're ready to teach that strategy put it up there and then it, it's concrete in the student's mind. I encourage you to try a math strategy wall in your classroom.